What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Stock of the Week. Guys, I'm really excited today to tell you why I just bought some DocuSign stock. And guys, this is the first time that I've ever bought into this company. Really excited about this. This is a new company for me, um, new buy. Let me tell you why I just bought into this company. So first of all, um, I really like DocuSign. I've liked the company for a while because of their brand awareness. Um, chances are you've probably heard of DocuSign. Chances are you've probably used DocuSign. Sometime in the last year, two years, you've probably used it if you've done any kind of um, agreement, um, or at least there's a good chance. But um, they IPO'd in 2018. So, um, and since, it's only two years. Well, really three years, I guess. But in those three years, this company has shot up in the world. They have beat the market every single year and by a lot. Like they're blowing it out of the park, guys. Um, they own a dominant market share in their industry. They are an industry leader. Now, I know on this channel, I do like to invest in industry leading companies. However, I feel like when I identify a company in an industry that is an industry leader, I try to find young industries. Now there are exceptions and um, we'll talk about that, but this is one of those specific cases where I'm finding an industry leader in a young industry. Um, now let's talk about mortgages for a minute. If you've ever signed on a house, then you know um, the old days of signing endless papers. It essentially felt like you were writing a book with your signature. They you assigned this paper and, that, and five hours later, you're still signing papers. Uh, last time I refinanced my home, um, I signed most of the things from my PC. Now it didn't replace everything. I still had to have a notary come to my house, still had to do some signatures on paper the old school way. But I signed so many things online from my PC using this company, DocuSign, and I did it with just the click of a button. And I love digital signatures because I believe that it improves on what is called wet signatures, um, signatures that are on paper. It improves on these signatures in so many ways. In fact, I would say it improves in most ways. Um, it's easier to verify these signatures. They're more secure. They can't be tampered with. They can't be altered. They're easily stored and retrieved. Uh, and best of all, it saves everyone money and time. And that is one of the most important things. Um, one of the things I really like about DocuSign, I mentioned this, um, they're an industry leader. Let me, let me show you how much of an industry leader they are. They own 70% of market share. Now guys, if you're kind of new to investing or whatever, um, market share is the amount of the overall like industry or like in this case we're talking about e-signatures this is the overall amount of e-signature industry that this company owns 70 percent of the worldwide market on e-signatures goes to DocuSign now um, some of their competitors you may have heard of them their number one competitor, actually, I've also recommended on this channel, but for different reasons, not necessarily for their e-signature business, but it's Adobe. Adobe is one of their competitors. Uh, there's also HelloSign and PandaDoc, and there's a bunch of other ones, but all of these companies, even Adobe, their biggest competitor, only have minor shares of the market. We're talking about just little slivers of the overall market, whereas DocuSign is over here with a 70% like it's dominant. Now, I believe guys that we are in the early days of this company. Um, so last year, they made $2 billion in revenue. Okay, so they had $2 billion in revenue. Um, and and if you look at it, if you look at the addressable market, it's a $25 billion addressable market. So they made $2 billion in revenue, but look at how much potential there is in this industry. And one thing I love about companies that do this, but um, DocuSign is investing heavily in their research and development. Like, when I say heavily, crazy amount. Last year, they put 19% of their revenue, a fifth of all of their revenue, back into research and development to be looking about how they can expand their business and grow and become a better company. And as investors, that's really exciting. That's 
really like attractive from a company that's putting that much money into investing in themselves. Now, uh, they do have a head start on everyone else. And I think that they're, I personally think that they're going to increase their market share. So right now they have 70%. I think it's gonna go up past that. Now, they've integrated their service with countless other services. Um, so I, when I refinanced my home, I refinanced through Better Mortgages and they had integrated their service DocuSign into um, this website. Uh, some, some of the other services that they've integrated with is Salesforce.com, Microsoft, Workday, ServiceNow, Oracle, SAP, um, and this is a, there's a new emerging market. So we have e-signatures, that, that's one thing. But there's a new emerging market that is going to dwarf e-signatures, and that is contract life cycle management, or what we're gonna to refer to as CLM. CLM, contract life cycle management. And management at DocuSign sees another $25 billion opportunity here with this new industry that is just emerging right now. Um, so signatures seal the deal. You know, when we write, when we sign the signature, that, that seals the deal. But there's a lot of other factors that contribute to finalizing a deal. And so I want to give you an example of how an agreement might go down if you were using DocuSign CLM. And this um, specific example I got from the Motley Fool, and this is what this is what it says. So this is how maybe an agreement would go down. A salesperson quickly auto-generates a contract based on typical company terms. They can enter their customer specifics into an easy form to individualize that contract and then negotiate any changes. If a manager needs to sign off on something like a discount, that will automatically show up in the workflow and generate a request for a digital signature, even while the salesperson is in the field. Actual contract alterations take place within DocuSign, which tracks changes and avoids any version confusion. If the client inserts a particular piece of legal jargon, DocuSign checks it against a library of similar clauses that are company approved or highlights potential problems. If necessary, another round of approvals can be triggered based on predefined workflow. And when the contract is actually signed, it is automatically stored in a repository that can then trigger further events like generating invoices and sending out renewal reminders. This, guys, is the world of CLM. And it's an emerging industry because it all hinges on digital signatures. Without digital signatures, there's no digital workflow. Without digital signatures, doing deals digitally does not work. So that's why we first of all had to develop this technology that DocuSign is really just running away with. Um, but that's just the beginning because CLM is next and DocuSign is already an industry leader. Uh, and the IT research firm Gartner sees only four major CLM leaders in the world and DocuSign leads them all. So why should we buy into this company now, you may be asking. Because last year, if we look at last year with COVID and everything, it was a breakout year for DocuSign, 49% growth rate, 49%. And the question is, can DocuSign continue this trend or was it just a COVID bounce with no substance? That's the big question here, guys. And I believe personally, since I'm buying the company, that the former is true. Last quarter, last quarter, not last year, last quarter, their growth was up to, so they, they had a 49% growth rate. That accelerated last quarter up to 58%, 58% growth rate. Their net retention rate last quarter up 125%. What that tells me is that companies are switching to digital signatures and they're sticking with them. They like digital signatures. They don't want to go back to the traditional, what we call wet signatures. Um, the CEO of DocuSign believes that when companies go digital, they don't go back. They don't go back. So the retention rate is exploding. People are trying out DocuSign. Companies are trying out DocuSign and they're saying, 
We love this. We're not going back. International revenue shot up 84%. This company is used, DocuSign is used in over 180 countries. And their international revenue accounts for about 20% of their overall revenue. I'm thinking that's going up to at least 50%. Right now they're at 20% of overall revenue. I think as they keep pushing things out into the international world, we're gonna see that go up to at least 50% of their overall revenue. They just expanded into Mexico and they're planning to expand into Japan and Southeast Asia next. Now this is going to assist multinational agreements. When all of these countries all start using DocuSign, you're gonna be able to do an agreement across national borders digitally. That's amazing, that's awesome, that's the future guys. Uh, different countries though have different rules for signatures and agreements, so that would make sense. The people that determine the rules in our country, um, these rules are different than some of the agencies and things that happen in other countries. So DocuSign is checking all of these boxes and they're preparing themselves to provide a deal maker for the future. So they're making sure that they're satisfying all the rules over here in country A and all the rules over here in country B so that when we do a deal through DocuSign, it can work even though you're in different countries at different times. This is, this is amazing, guys. The world runs on agreements. Final words for you guys. World runs on agreements. Every business is a potential customer for DocuSign. They recently added their one millionth customer, which is amazing. And you may be wondering, does that mean we're at the end? And no, we are not, guys. We are at the beginning of a great company. Digital signatures are just now being accepted. This is now an established industry. And there's a whole nother industry on the horizon as we begin to do business digitally. Can't wait to see what happens next. I'm excited about the future. I'm excited about DocuSign. Guys, those are just some of the reasons why I bought uh, DocuSign. Now guys, I do wanna say I'm giving a giveaway on the channel, a giveaway on the channel, so if you want in on this giveaway, when we hit 250 subs, giving away 50 bucks, guys, to one of you subscribers. So maybe that'll help you put a little bit of money in DocuSign or whatever stock that you choose. Um, so all you have to do is just make sure you like this video, comment on this video, and then also just make sure you're a subscriber to the channel. Also guys, if you want free money today, make sure you're signed up for Robinhood and Webull. Even if you don't use it um, to buy and sell stocks, you can get your free stocks and then just close the accounts if you want to. But um, go ahead, sign up for those companies, sign up for those apps. The links are in the description. Get yourself some free stocks. Anyway, I really appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Y'all are awesome. Y'all have a great week. Remember to dream big and I'll see you next time.